Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, did you chill? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Kalina Gina Millicent. On this channel, I do all things motherhood, lifestyle, everything else in between. Um, we are filming a work week in my life. This is one of the busiest weeks in my life. Well, technically, my new job, everything, every other day has been the busiest day of my life. But yeah, today we knocked off early because Eskom decided to do unlawful things. I want to say it's unlawful could be wrong allegedly in case someone comes from me but yeah so i haven't had my lunch i am dizzy like i, I don't know whether i'm coming or going i'm just gonna pass by mcdonald's and get some food and then um go home i might fetch her before work i mean the time right now is um three o'clock so i might fetch her from work or i'm just gonna drive home and then he'll just use the car train as per usual so yeah let's get going i'm gonna need my phone to do the um, gps because i want to pass my mcdonald's i'm not sure how we get to mcdonald's here next to my job where's my gate king anyway so how are you guys doing how is this low shedding thing affecting you guys because wow same be same be oh yeah I'll catch you guys at McDonald's. I got lost on the road. I got lost. I was going to McDonald's. But then I got lost. I couldn't find my way to McDonald's. But now I'm at a shopping center and I see a wimpy. I see a the bonnets and stairs. At this point, yeah, chance because I also don't know if they have food because there's no power. But I really need something to eat. Or something to drink. But I'm I got my food, um, I got a uh, cream soda, and then I got, um, some chips. Yo, guys, I want to rush and leave this place. This car got is looking at me very suspiciously, so. I'm uncomfortable. And then I got the chips better. I got the like the cheapest version they have so the um, the um, thingy the meal is nine to rounds guys let me leave this guys I'm making me so uncomfortable Hello. Guys, at what cost? Mm, I am. I am at Hub's workplace. Outside his workplace, I'm waiting for him to come. I missed the entrance because I just kept driving because there was this one random guy driving a high like Toyota who just kept following me. Like he just kept following my car and he just like flake his lights and at one point when we were you know how when roads are going and one of them is gonna disappear into the other i don't even know what that is called um Francesia, Wimpy's not the one. Uh, so at one road he tried to give me his number i was like no thank you i'm not interested he kept driving after me he kept driving after me, that guy was driving on my bumper, kept flashing his lights. I legit thought I was getting hijacked, you guys. Yo, what a scary deal! Not even a game, I put at this point. I just want to get home, and I'm waiting for this man here. Guys, bye bye. Did I lock my car? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's mad. We're when us to pay to pack it up like a wrong. Do you see him? 
Where's my mean? My mean? My mean? Kya phone hai lawa ra? Ah, Am I driving? Here we try. It's me again. I'm home. I sat through the traffic in the morning only to come back home. I think three hours later because there's a problem with the power at the office. We had to uh, opt to work from home. So when I got home, I just wanted to play as much catch up as I can because then yesterday also had a power problem. So I wanted to catch up a bit, but now I'm taking my lunch and I'm using it to go buy groceries. Today is a payday. The boy is gonna buy me Starbucks and some sushi. But we're not here about that. I'm here to show you guys my cash buying down. I got this cash binder as a gift from Andy Sunny. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Because accent is of kidnap I got this from Andy and she saw my Insta stories about wanting to start cash stuffing because I feel like when I use my card I overspend. And my big statement has proven that I overspend. Because one month it said I spent seven thousand on groceries and I was like that is a red flag. That's a huge red flag. You can't spend seven thousand on food. Oh well. Yeah. And so she got me this cute uh, binder, and I'm gonna start using it today. I do wanna film like a proper cash stuffing video, but I think I'll probably do that next month. This month, honestly, my payday came in a week where I'm extremely busy. I'm traveling for work tomorrow for two days, and then the other day I have things going on. Like I won't have enough time to actually just see through and film a video you know so i'm gonna try to do that next month but today i am gonna withdraw some cash from the atm and then i'm gonna stuff it quickly in here because it's only a few items in here so i'm gonna stuff it in here and then use it almost immediately with the groceries and stuff so i'm really excited about that um i also did a a question poll on my instagram to ask where do you guys buy groceries i feel like i want to try out other stores not because of price because i feel like their food is the same everywhere food is just generally expensive i want to try other stores for quality purposes and you know i don't know just to get a different experience because i buy um, mainly my groceries at checkers and then i buy fresh produce and milk and eggs at woolworths i'm not open to changing the fresh produce and milk setup because woolworths works for me and i'm gonna stick by it i'm gonna stick by my man guys i need to stop watching tiktok because i speak in tiktoks even at work in jail sometimes you're in a meeting and google well, i'm a tiktok in the head they're asking you a proper question that needs an intellectual answer but you know what my head says forever Yana. you answer my question baby we're gonna buy a session what kind of way they just know what Yo, man, we leave you in the desert without, without water. So I'm excited to use my cash binder. I'm gonna show you guys properly when I'm at home. I, I can try to no. Let me say I'll try to stuff some because the thing is, I'ma withdraw now and I'ma spend it now with the grocery one. But the others, I'm still gonna stuff like the petrol, my nails and stuff. Okay, let's just see how we do it this is how messy life is honestly let's see how we do it and somehow i managed to squeeze in a nail appointment i didn't give you guys the tea about me and my nail tech fighting me didn't give you guys the tea because when i was eating that other vlog i realized that that clip because i was shooting in the car i was not visible and i don't want that kind of piece on my vlog anyway my nail tech and i had a fallout i think it was two weeks back yeah we had a fallout and i had dumped her but then she came back and she was like, baby, take me back. And you know what, her work young you make. So this good man said I should give her a second chance. Personally, I was willing to try someone new. I found a few people on TikTok that live around my area, which, well, not necessarily around my area, if I'm being honest. I had to drive like 20, 25 minutes. And my nail tech, I have to drive literally three minutes and then I'm there. 
so i'm gonna give my original nail tech a second chance to redeem herself her work w w is always good but it's the time management that hypes me out but we will see so i squeezed in an appointment for today and i guess i am traveling i haven't packed my bag i haven't checked it Ooh. if my grandmother was still alive i would have found her a day what do you think okay oh, mother Lord. Chapi Chapi, my chaplain. I'm about to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to You are what's wrong? Mutual life is what's wrong. I'm back from the grocery store. Bought quite a lot of stuff this month around, and I feel like I went over budget a little bit because I did my cash stuffing while at the mall. But I'm gonna try and correct it or just take accountability when I do it a bit later. But right now we're gonna do a grocery haul. I wanted to say quick, but it's not gonna be quick because we went in too deep this month because last month I don't know what happened with the groceries. So this month we tried to buy bigger quantities of the items that we use, hoping that they actually run up until the very last day of the month and not on payday. Because payday is the twenty fifth of the month, but month end of the thirty first or thirtieth. So we want food that's gonna last up until then. And I'll put the total amount somewhere on the screen when i'm done calculating how much we spend on all the food and this includes so this is fresh produce um groceries and toiletries my budget doesn't include meat because it's not what i do it's not part of my budget that's his budget so we have separate um we have separate budgets but i get a household allowance for things like groceries your petrol eating out and stuff but yeah let me show you guys what we got <sighs> so we went to Checkers, Woolworths and Clicks. So I got tomatoes from Clicks. Yo, from Clicks, see? I got tomatoes from Woolworths. Sorry. Something we buy and never use. Carrots. Got some berry mix. Some pine. And then I got trays of grapes and the usual peppers and then we got um, babies. I think I've gotten to a point where I don't buy vegetables a lot simply because I feel like we just people in this house don't eat vegetables. They will say to you we don't eat that. So I don't buy them a lot because it's just me who actually eats them. So this pack should last me at least two weeks because I'm probably gonna have them also like once or twice. It's not a everyday thing. And today I'm proud of myself that I took my Willis bags with me. Um okay. I should oh who's okay, I'm back. I'm doing it differently. So we have now we have clicks items um they have the three for two thing it always gets me um i bought these um fabric softeners since my friend Harlow applied me on these these are the only brand like hopefully the only brand that i buy and then i got six of these um sunlight baby baby what's so Okay. They were not a special, but I had to buy them because she can be the essential thick kids were in art and I think for the past we could be using sunlight green bar, which is not a problem because we grew up using that product. And then I got Omo Auto. I realized I'm not loyal to any 
washing brand, washing detergent brand at this point in my life. I buy what's cheapest. And then I also bought the same brand, but this is for hand wash. So the other one is for the machine. That means what? Upatam. Upatam. Yo? It's an insult. Yeah, then that's what it means, but wow. We learn every day, yeah. I got um Colgate Day 3. We ran out. I share my godly record this um Yusurin because my child is going through the most. Her eczema flare up is over everywhere except on her thighs and summer is approaching, so I want the girl to have cute and clean um thighs, so we are gonna use this um Eucerin. Eucerin is expensive, yeah. And then these two were on sale. These two were on sale. Let me tell you something. My helper showed me. Okay, she didn't show me. I saw how she makes this with green bar. I'm gonna try it one day. I don't know. Mara, she said to me, I must not stop buying this, assuming she's gonna do it for me. But yes, yeah, Sana, we learn every day. And then I got to miss those. They were actually on special. I should have bought four, but. Just put two and then my friend Kamala plugged me on this when I shared on my Instagram that I use this as a bubble bath for the kids because Lerica has eczema and sometimes the ones that I used to use would give her flare up but since we started using the shower gels as a bubble bath she doesn't get much flare ups and I love the sink this one smells amazing so we got two I know I did say yeah two four hundred and six I think and then we got her this time we got her a big tin of formula. I'm gonna try and get her off formula. I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but we are gonna zam it. We are gonna try. Smoothie from the words And then we got, I got two of these juices. Is that juice or juices, guys? Now it's a pure I like juicy juice. Got some onion. Some mullies. The daughter hates this. Every time you take this out, she'll say, me, I want cornflakes. And then I went back to Ellis Brown and not Cremella because Cremella, you know? It's getting my rubber stuff. Grated cheese. Um, these were on promo. I didn't know until that um, the Kisha told me that they're on promo. So I have another pack of these. Mm.
um, rice um, Sam I still buy the old fish and Sam that needs to be cooked for two hours because I don't trust that you can have Sam cooked under 30 minutes here there's so much groceries um, at this point I'm tired of unpacking and packing them back so guys just need to that last that should last me a whole month because wow Unigi. let's decant mm. So this is my cash binder and I have tried stuffing it like I mentioned while I was doing my shopping so uh, it comes with these budget sheets I don't know if I'm gonna use them because I use a digital planner that I made myself and then it has different pockets so these pockets like the bulk buying and friendship dates I don't have money for them on my budget so what I will do is that every month when I have any left over I will put them in here whenever I get money that I didn't expect to get. So groceries, as you can see, I've already spent some of the money, but we're gonna like just take accountability and like sort it out. And then this is just some of the binders that I, sorry, there are some of the envelopes that I have. So we're just gonna go through them. And while I do this, I'm gonna be updating my digital budget so that 
I know what's missing, what's being paid and what's not being paid, what went over and what's not. I will be able to close my budget only on the 2nd of August because my debit orders run from the 25th of every month until the 1st. And that is solely because I get my salary on the 25th and then I get my household allowance either on the 25th or on the 1st. And this month I got both my salary and household allowance on the 25th however the stock fill is paying me so i'm going to be getting my stock for money on the first of the month so let's cash stuff and sort this thing out so as i said these binders these ones don't this cookies don't have allocated money to them um then i'll put the change if i have any in here or in a random money so right now they're going to remain empty um groceries um i've already i'm doing this vice versa i should start first and then go shopping after but life happened today and i had to stuff as i went luckily i have my digital um budget template so i know how much i'm supposed to spend on every Item. So my budget for groceries this month was 4000 4, and that is simply because um, last month we didn't buy a lot of groceries So and my grocery list includes my toiletries so we spent um, How much did we spend? We spent a total of 1.3 40 at 6 and I'm gonna minus that from the 4000 I think we went over budget a little bit with this ones, and we're probably still gonna go over budget, but that is okay. Um, and then I have we spend 1.2 at forwards, and we spend 1.493. Do you see how much I saved at checkers instantly while I'm at the shop? So I'm just gonna plus add up these transactions and then see how much I spend. I know that. This is, and these million coins I changed that I got from the stores. So I probably didn't, I don't know. Look at that, I probably didn't see. What's this for? What's this for? Okay. So we're just going to see how much we spent on groceries in total. Just going to quickly look for my calculator. Does the iPad have a calculator? If it doesn't have, I'll use the, um, the one online calculator. Okay, I'm just going to open it. So it opened a digital calculator. Let's see. One, four, nine. because I've bought at six before. So why is I don't know. We are over budget by nineteen. So the total is four thousand nine hundred and eighty and seventy eight cents. So we went over budget on groceries. So that means there is nothing left in here. Tricky Kessan. Okay, I think this is where I'm gonna employ these um, these ones. I think I'm gonna use them to put we have gone over just to just to you know truly see how much we actually spend on food. One month I used my twenty two seven app and it said that we spend at least seven thousand on food in my household. So I'm just gonna write down. Um, the cruiser, so I think this will just be dedicated to what let's just say hey Libana one of tiny things oh this is opening balance I'm just gonna write month some way so July today is the 25th and then groceries um we spent Four thousand and so that's why I said my little I shouldn't be buying any more groceries. 
So this is how much I spent and I budget was 4,000 rands. So I have automated my budget. I just did a like a simple um, spreadsheet and honestly for me, I just I just love a digital like auto correction, not auto correction rather, auto calculations because it just makes my life easier. So let's see what's left. Obviously, I don't I'm not gonna stuff everything because I use um, I use uh, some of my payments um, debit orders anyway. Coming to guess, the budget is one thousand rands. Well, technically, we don't. I use more, but from the money that I have, this is how much I contribute towards full and happy. Just the rest of petrol. Like explained, me and him have separate budgets. It just works best for us. So in here we have two, four, six, eight, ten. We have a thousand rings for petrol. I'm a full tank for McKnight for it's around nine hundred. So I just put one full tank, and I think I need two full tanks every month. So still have four gears. We haven't put any um utilities. I had put five hundred, and I've already paid i bought electricity via um, so always remember that these amounts may look little but that's because on my budget it's just what i am contributing and not what he contributes to certain bills some bills he pays so i don't have to put them here on, on my stuffing but anyway so utilities have already bought electricity my portion of electricity so that's done i probably should update here just to remember when we bought electricity also guys tell me if you guys also spend a lot of money on electricity because i realized that we spend a lot almost like even almost thirty thousand. and then personal um my personal maintenance i put i put five hundred done but then i spend three eighty two days so i'm remaining with um 110 i'm not sure what i'm going to do i'm probably going to wash my hair with the hundred grams so i'm just going to put it here and then i'm going to update my sheet and then my digital um calendar not calendar man my budget my nails are cute me i know they're cute if you guys follow me on instagram then you know that i had a fallout with my nail tag and that is because hey we had a fallout but she said sorry baby said sorry we are back together now me and my nail tag just need to update it here as well grooming i spent 380. my husband is always laughing at me because i'm always always doing something that has to do with budgets and stuff so that's personal care clothing doesn't have anything at the moment because like i said my monies for this month are not complete so i'm going to use some of the money from the stock fold to put in here so for now it's going to be empty entertainment and dining out i had put a budget of 1000 rands and i think we took some of this money for other things we already had takeouts today because we had sushi and um barricade and i probably should calculate how much those took away from this money um yo guys now i get to go shim shot digital um calculator like i don't know how to start over at nando's has been 236 and then for the sushi it was a special has been 52 rands so we spent 200 and sorry we spent 378 378 rands on dining out okay which is the 25th so and the budget is a thousand now i'm not good with money so i'm gonna calculate everything so this is my thousand and I had to put the, I had to put Lizotho, not Lizotho, my Nereko down for sleep. She's been very cranky these days, but I'm back. So for dining out, we spent um, 378. I should have 600, but I don't think I do. See? So what I have left, I don't know where the rest went, honestly. So this is <laughs> um, 100, 200. I have 
to take some of this money with me tomorrow because i'm going for a trip and i'm gonna need cash like hard cash because they're gonna pay into my account that we spent somewhere and i'm not really sure that others are gonna have to check my bags again but i'm gonna i'm not gonna do that now like i need to see 100 200 300 350 so i have 400 rands in here so i have 400 rands left for entertainment I'm missing 200 but it's fine like i said 100 is out and i think the other one we probably spent it. it's coins somewhere oh i donated at sorry i made a donation at checkers you know at the tellers workstation there's a donation um the butter king teen i donated there so yeah anyway that's all i have um happy birthday is coming up soon so let's start Ooh, need to start saving up for that. But yeah, that's my cash stuffing. So in here, I'm just gonna put the receipts. Actually, let me just put the receipts. And if we add on other receipts, I am just gonna add them in here just to see how much we really spent on those receipts. I love budgeting, but at the same time, I don't like starving myself. And I don't wanna be dishonest and not put in the slips in here. So I'm just gonna. You know, be truthful about where I spend my money. Receive not truthful about where I get my money. So I'm gonna leave this binder here at home. I don't need to take it with me because my card has money. And like I said, I'm traveling for work, and they're gonna give me, they give us travel allowances when we do travel. So um, let me put this back, um, and I'm gonna finish updating my digital uh, thingy. That is in my digital budget and then i'll catch you guys tomorrow at the airport bye we'll be on our way shortly I did have a friend though. Okay, thank you. I promise you. <laughs> oh, this place is so cute. Oh my gosh. So sad that I can't explore it because I'm here for work. Yes, let's go. Yeah, I think this is the day where I have to learn Kosa. Like proper. I have one Kosa friend, literally one. You have white Kosa? Flutter. I want something that's gonna fill me up. Milk chicken with chips in it. I wanna be a person. I So thick. Too thick for your liking. I'm just not a coffee person. I just. Raybon? Marayama, it pays good money.
breakfast here at 7 i've been up since 4 in the morning there was a weird sound happening in my room but anyway so i'm here to say bye bye to the vlog yesterday i couldn't talk because that's how busy i was but i thought let me plug the girls that have gene problems so if you are like me and you have some thighs and some booty and your jeans fit you but the waist it's too big it does that hole here and belts don't help they just make it uncomfortable i found this trick on on an instagram reel you just okay maybe it's it will be better if i try to show you but you just zip up do your pants like this let me try to show you guys but i wanted to say goodbye guys thank you so much for watching um this vlog this is a week in my life as a waking human being finish and i'm so tired and the fact that i have a full game today and then after that i need to fly out to johannes back but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i will include other clips because i'm still gonna have breakfast and go to the work event i'm not gonna vlog at the work event because it's a work event and then i'm gonna go to the airport to go home so i just thought let me close off the vlog properly and not just leave you guys in the air you see me doing things that you have no idea what that they are what they are about so i'll catch you guys on my next one Gonna, I want to take off my jersey, but then I want to record and I want to show you guys my work a t shirt like where I work. Anyway, I'm at the work event and it's so much fun. Everyone here is Tosa and we are deep in the Lali. She says Lali. Gegutata is Tosa only. Yeah, bo. And it, 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 it's almost it's a real experience, you know. Okay, I want to try and speak Kosa about you. It's so, it's a surreal experience because I feel like I'm in a production or in a movie. 
because everyone is speaking the same language but me you know that was also like from the mc speakers the kids won't um we are ted you know and they are trying those who know like my other our colleagues here they're trying to translate some stuff but i'm like no i can hear the problem is speaking but it's so nice they are singing in their native language oman the way too and i realized that courses don't actually say way too a lot they don't say kwendini wom fundini no they don't even say those words they are speaking their language kakuhle it's so nice it's this is a very great experience i'm really enjoying myself so i work as a social media manager being a social media manager is part of my job right so I need to put out content but unfortunately there is no there's very limited internet access here so i went inside to get the content and now i'm in the car to try edit and post it but all i can say let me just put it in my home language it's so nice being here like village life guys everyone is just so happy and oh man the way too it's a really nice so let me work i don't even know what my flight is at um 20 past six meaning i have to be at the airport at 20 past five um the time now is 12 o'clock so i think the event will be over by the time I, I have to go.